Hi, I'm Josh Richards. I'm a hand, elbow, and shoulder surgeon in Oakland, California. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to expect after an electronon fracture. Uh, first of all, what's an electron fracture? So, uh, the electronon is the most proximal portion of your ulna bone. So here's your humerus, your upper arm, here's your forearm. Your ulna bone is the pinky-sided forearm bone, the electronon being the part up by the elbow where flexion and extension occurs. So the electronon is part of your elbow joint. Uh, when it's broken, if it displaces really at all, it needs to be fixed. So you need a perfect joint, that's where motion occurs, and if it's not lined up well, the cartilage on the ends of the bones will rub down and it'll get arthritis. So the idea is if that electronaut is displaced, it really needs to be fixed. Um, it's a pretty straightforward surgery to go through if you need it. Um, typically it's an outpatient surgery, it takes about an hour if the fracture is not too bad. Uh, if it's in a lot of pieces, it could take four hours, uh, but typically we're looking at an hour and a half. Uh, different types of tools can be used. Probably the most common is a plate. Um, as far as the plate is placed uh, right on the along the back side of the bone here, uh, it's typically a very thin plate, but it is annoying to most people when they rest their elbow down a year or two later. They feel it, and so people like to get it out often. So that's one of the more annoying parts about it is that you can feel it. It's right in the tip of that bone, and a lot of people want it out. I tell people about 50% chance you might want that out. It's probably more like 60. Um, but as far as um, the plate itself, uh, it's typically made of titanium, although there are stainless steel options. Titanium gives you the advantage it does not go off in airports. So if you do keep it, um, you don't have to go through that bother. As far as uh, the huge advantage of the plate is that you can get your elbow moving quickly. So elbow fractures, the biggest problem is lots of motion. So the earlier you can get your elbow moving, the better. So in terms of stabilizing the bone so that you can get it aggressively moving, that's important. Uh, with electronon fractures, uh, we, uh, it's very stable to get things moving in the straight or extended position, which is most important, uh, as the plate isn't terribly stressed in that motion. Where it does get stressed is in the flexion, so beyond 90 degrees it starts to pull on that plate. So often we won't let you push too hard in flexion right away, but we want you pushing hard in extension right away after surgery. Um, some people will wait a week or two to get uh, to get the elbow moving, which is fine as well, and whereas some will get the patient moving very quickly. Uh, there's a lot of things that determine that. Uh, a lot of it is age uh, uh, dependent, and if you have very frail skin, probably not great you're moving real quickly. Um, but uh, if you have good skin and uh, good fixation, then getting it moving, you know, the very next day is reasonable. Albeit, people have good outcomes if they don't, if they wait a week or two. So it's really up to the surgeon, and there's no bad choice. Um, but the big advantage of the plate is that you can get it moving early. Um, we still don't want you lifting, pushing, pulling over two, three pounds. Uh, that puts a lot of pressure on it, and certainly not, you know, putting a lot of weight on your arms. That would that would be the worst thing. So the hardest part is like getting out of a chair or a bat up off a toilet. Essentially, you got to remember not to put that weight on your hand. Um, because by three or four weeks, you might forget. It probably isn't hurting as much by then, so you can forget. Uh, the bone typically heals about eight weeks, 10 weeks, uh, reasonable estimate, sometimes a little quicker, sometimes longer. Um, if you get your motion back quickly, it's usually not a terribly difficult thing to go through, but getting your motion back can be really hard, and, and some people uh, just tend to get stiffer than others. Some people have a real hard time pushing through pain, um, so it, it's some, somewhat a bit of luck how, how well you recover quick and how quickly. Um, as far as taking the hardware out, we like to wait a good six months minimum, really 9 to 12 ideal. Um, that way we know for sure the bones heal completely before we take the plate out. Um, so uh, it's typically a pretty easy procedure to go through, it doesn't hurt terribly. You can move right away afterwards, um, but it is annoying, obviously, to have to have a second procedure. 
Um, so in summary, electron fractures, if they're displaced, they need to be fixed. Uh, typically it's a plate, but not always. There's other things that can be done um, using suture and what's called a figure of eight with some screws is totally reasonable. Uh, using suture with some wires in a figure of eight is reasonable. Um, you know, surgeon's choice realistically. Um, typically those are used when there's really just two main large pieces with no little pieces. Um, so if there's something called comminution, usually we're using a plate. Um, the idea there is maybe that hardware doesn't need to be remo removed, but usually it does as well. Uh, sometimes if, with the screws, if done really perfectly, people don't, it doesn't get annoyed, but even then you feel the sutures a bit. So it, it, there's, there's no perfect option for uh, what hardware to use. It's up to the surgeon or dealer's choice. Um, all right, thank you very much.